Today, I'm going to show you how to create a short animation using Adobe Animate CC. Let's get acquainted with the HTML5 canvas document type and prepare a stage surface and timeline for the lessons to follow. Go ahead and click on the link to save the tutorial files to your CC library if you'd like to follow along. Before we do anything else, I want to adjust my workspace a little bit. So notice that we have a single column in our toolbar and it actually runs off of the visible area here in my desktop. What I'm going to do is actually just click and drag from the side here in order to expand this and make it more along the lines of two columns, just like that. This way, all of the tools are visible at this small resolution. And if you want to, you can do that as well, since this is the sort of workspace configuration we're going to have for the rest of this tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is create a new document. We'll create this as an HTML5 Canvas document, and you can do that by just clicking the option right here. One of the great things about HTML5 Canvas using Animate CC is that it will run natively in the browser without the need for a plugin. What we'll do now is set our stage resolution and background color. So we can do that in the properties panel here. And notice that this is an HTML5 Canvas document. So we know that we're adjusting properties for the entire document right now. Changing the stage color is simple enough. Down here right now it's white. We can click on that and choose whatever we want. I'm going to choose a blue color that looks like a nice sky. Now we'll go ahead and change the width and the height. So the width in this case is going to be 747 and the height is going to be 420. The reason I'm doing this is because it's a nice 16 by nine ratio. So if we did want to export this to a video, for instance, it would be very easy to do so. You'll notice that my stage is now going outside the bounds of my window here. So to fix this, I'm actually going to go up top to my center stage button and a simple click of that will recenter the stage. Having a look at the different panels we have right here, you'll notice we have one for CC libraries. If we open this, we can search through Adobe Stock to access and license millions of stock photos, graphics, and artwork directly in Animate CC. We want something here that's kind of like a nice guy, and we want it to be vector based. So let's type in vector, hills, green, sky. Stock goes ahead and looks for items that match this, and you'll see a number of different things come back here. And most of these for sure are vector based. This one looks really nice. It's very similar to the one we've actually chosen for this project. And you'll notice here that we have two options. One is to save a preview, in which case we can use this watermarked image. The other option is to buy and save to Adobe Stock, in which case we get the full vector art with no watermark. Additionally, you'd be able to go ahead and choose any image, vector or bitmap that you have on your own machine. Now, pulling some things down like this can take some time to sync between CC libraries. So I've already created an Animate CC library right here that I can use to go ahead and actually incorporate a licensed image that I grabbed from Adobe Stock into our current document. You may have to clear your search terms in order to see this. To use this, all I need to do is click and drag onto our stage. The Adobe Illustrator import dialog opens up and we're able to select the specific artboard and make a number of decisions around how we want to handle layers, text, and how we want to convert those particular layers. I want everything within a single animate layer in this instance, and I also want to maintain editable paths and effects. So I'll choose those two options. In terms of text, this vector art doesn't have any text, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And I'll close my CC Libraries panel. Notice that the imported vector art is actually a lot larger than our stage. To fix that, let's go ahead and firstly zoom out to about 50% and recenter our stage. And then choose the Free Transform tool. Using this tool, we can select the object on the stage. And we can even click and drag from the sides to resize the artwork. 
If I hold down the Alt key, I can resize it from one side to the other like this and have it snap to that side. I can do the same thing with the bottom, holding down Alt and then just clicking and dragging until it snaps right there. And we can see from the properties panel that indeed we are 747 by 420, which is the exact size of our stage. Let's go ahead and take this back to 100%. And of course you can recenter if needed. Notice down below here that it's given a particular name. Let's double click on this layer and change it to read something that makes a bit more sense to our project. This is the background. So we'll just simply rename this to background. Now that we have our background layer and our complete document stage set up, we can lock this layer down and proceed with saving our project. Go up to File, Save, and let's go ahead and name this, we'll call this Animation. And notice this is an FLA document, which is an Animate document. Let's go ahead and save this. Now with our document set up, we can proceed to the next video.